I left town for two weeks to go do some shows. And when I came home, it was night and day. They picked me up at the airport. <laughs> he jumps out of the car and he's holding the door open like he's valet. <laughs> and I get in the car. I look at my girl. What's going on? He thinks you're still mad at him, so he's being extra good. We're gonna ride this out. And the whole drive home, he's doing that little song in the back seat. I'm gonna clean my room, I'm gonna take out the trash, I'm gonna walk the dog, I'm gonna do the dishes. And when we got home, he did all of it. And I was like, wow. And then we're passing each other in the hallway. And as we're passing each other, he sticks out his arm, bro. And he tapped me. And he keeps walking and I go, excuse you. And he goes, whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, oh let me take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a decent person. I'm not great, I'm not horrible, I'm decent, okay? Anybody who's ever met me in the past or will meet me in the future, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I know what's in my heart. I'm a nice person. And if I'm being nice to you and you're mean to me, I'll still be nice. But if you're mean to me a second time, I don't care who it is. It could be one of you guys. It could be one of my friends in the back or it could be the new dependent on my taxes. You mess with me, I'm gonna mess with you back and I'm gonna step it up a notch so you don't forget. Everybody's quiet, all the kids are like, I don't wanna meet him now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. Next morning, I was in my son's room and I'm standing over his bed. It's five o'clock in the morning and I'm just watching him sleep. I know it looked creepy like the movie. <laughs> And I'm just thinking, what am I gonna do to get even, right? And I look over and I see his alarm clock, and I'm like, perfect. Just so you guys understand, it's his job to wake himself up for school. And he knows if he's late because he didn't set that clock, his mom is gonna have his ass. He's afraid of his mom for good reason. So I grab that clock and I change the time from 5 a.m. to 7.30. It gets better, then I set it off. And I grabbed him, freak up, wake up, wake up, freak up, wake up. And he wakes up all scared. <laughs> you overslept, you overslept. And he freaked out. <laughs> Shh, I'm gonna help you. <laughs> and I started handing him his clothes. Here, get dressed, get dressed, put your clothes. He's getting dressed in the dark. He looks like a little drunk. <laughs> Deodorant. And I grab him and I drag his ass into the garage. His whole face is oily and sweaty. He's got rocks and crust in his eyes. He has a perfect white line going all the way to the back of his neck. As soon as I get him in the car, falls asleep. I jump in and I take him to school. We get to his school. The sun is barely coming out. There is not a kid for miles. As soon as we get by the office, I slammed on the brakes to wake him up. <laughs> and he went, oh, Frankie, the bell just rang, hurry. The last kid went in, you're gonna make it, go, go, hurry, go. Oh, okay, thank you, all right, I love you. <laughs> it was Sunday. Kid mess with you, you mess with kid. <laughs> now I know a lot of you right now are like, oh, you went back to get him, right? That wasn't the plan. <laughs> he starts calling my phone. I forget him. <laughs> I look at the phone and it's an old picture when he was still cute, you know? <laughs> I sent him the voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> the phone and I see his mom's face. I'm like, shit! <laughs> Little traitor! <laughs> I'm trying to play it off in the car. <laughs> Hello? Pick him up. I can barely hear you. Pick him up! <laughs> I get back to the school, big old freaking school with one kid in front of it. <laughs> oh man, you guys, he was so pissed off. But I'm going to tell you something. I found something out that week. I found out that you don't have to yell at a kid to get your point across. You definitely don't have to hit one. 
all you really have to do to make sure they never forget the day that they messed up is embarrass them. <laughs> Embarrassing a kid is the biggest weapon you can have as a parent that's legal. <laughs> and so much more effective, you guys. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, between the ages of 10 and 19, it's all about image. It's all about, do I have the cool shirt, the cool hat, the cool uh, wristband, the cool watch, the cool glasses, the cool shoes, the cool pants. They wanna fit in so bad. You mess with their image at school, oh, it's mental, it's emotional. And depending on what you did, it's physical. <laughs> Why do you think they make such a big deal about bullying in schools and child abuse amongst each other? Because when kids turn, it's not pretty, especially if they have a reason to, like finding out that you got dropped off on Sunday by your dad because there was a janitor there working who saw the whole thing go down. <laughs> and three days is what it took for word to get out. And when those kids found out it was my son, the things they said to him were so bad that when he came home, he was in tears, okay? And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I felt terrible for like a second. <laughs> it was bad though, it was. I was moved, he came in all hard. <laughs> I hope you're happy, I hope you're happy. All day long, people have been messing with me. It's Sunday, kid, it's Sunday, kid. <laughs> Get him a calendar. Get him a watch. Why are you just standing there? <laughs>